We're getting a little low on our protein, so we're gonna go on a mission today to fill this freezer up. We're expecting to get a month's worth of protein here in NASA. Headlamp. We don't expect to be back until after dark, so I'm gonna turn on the anchor light and I'm gonna grab a headlamp. So that's our, uh, that's our headlights when we're driving the dinghy at night. Dixie is not happy with us. No, she's never happy when we leave. Uh, she always knows we're coming back, but she gets so upset when we leave. So right. our anchor drug a little bit last night, and uh, just with the currents here, pretty strong currents, so watch out, there's a big wave coming. Uh, oh wait. yeah. So we're gonna swing by our neighbors over here just let them know that we're heading out for a quick run to the grocery store, and they, they can help keep an eye on the boat. We're gonna head to the store, do you need anything? All right, good deal. Um, I think we're gonna try and go up to Salmon's. Um, the, we're gonna probably hit, the cheaper one I guess is up uh, about four blocks is my understanding, is that where you guys went? Oh, we have to Okay, so I know that the Salmon's Fresh Market is the one that's over on the other side of the bridge. Yeah. That is, um, apparently it's more expensive, but apparently it's really nice. Okay. So we're gonna go to the other one first and see what what we can get, and then maybe maybe we'll go to the other one too. I don't know. They close at eight, so thank, thank you. Thank you so much. We are in the dinghy and on the way to the grocery store for our first provisioning trip in the Bahamas. That's right. We're all stocked up and ready to go. We expect that food will be a little bit harder to find, or a lot harder to find than being in the states. We'll see, but we're gonna take you along and show you how we provision the boat. Parking the dinghy is always an, an, an interesting endeavor these days. Yeah, so the marinas around here want to charge you 20 or $25 to park the dinghy, and it's that's well, crazy. It's kind of, yeah, it's absolutely insane, right? Uh, but then again, to tie off to the marina or go to the marina, take the boat, it's like, I don't know, 300 bucks for the night, probably. Yeah. So uh, we just talked to Troy, who's the owner of the floating bar here, just right at the, the bridge that goes over to Paradise Island. And he was we, nice enough to let us tie up there. Yeah. So, so such a kind gentleman. So we will so. go to the, go to the grocery store and I'll just buy one beer there with Troy and that'll pay for our dinghy storage for the day. Not a bad deal. Super value. So we learned the, from the professionals, the best way to provision the boat and the reason why is to spend an entire day just working on protein. And so that's what we're doing this afternoon and what we'll show you guys later tonight as we vacuum seal all of our protein. Um, but obviously our, our goal and hope is that we actually will eat a lot more fish than anything else. But you still have to have other meats yeah. Your chickens, your steaks, your pork, sausage, bacon, whatever the case may be. So we are here to focus on that today and we'll be coming back tomorrow and Monday to work on all of our dry goods and vegetables. that we love this kind of cheese. This grocery store is busy. And we 
homeless guy. I probably should have brought another uh, bag with us. Yeah, that would have been smart. Rookie's here. <laughs> we got a long walk with that box and that bag. <laughs> freezer space. You said it was your mission to fill the free freezer. I did say that. Well, right. we have a backpack full and a box. Now it's six blocks back to the dinghy. It's be a long walk with that backpack and box. What was the damage? Uh, I think it's a 369, three something. That's it? Uh, we tried to be mindful and I'm pretty Conscious. happy with that. Yeah, that's not, not nearly as bad as I expected. We have a $72 10-pound bag of chicken. Chicken breast. <laughs> yeah, Tyson boneless chicken breast, 10-pound bag, 72 bucks. That's for days when we don't spear anything, don't catch anything. Should last us a long time. <laughs> yeah, I hope Hopefully so. Hopefully we have freezer space to put it, though. Yeah, I hope so. That's a big bag, so. We got some steaks, we got some bacon, sausage, sandwich meat, cheese. Ground beef. Ground beef. We got some beef stew, or, uh, beef stew meat that we're gonna make soup with tonight. So that's gonna be really yummy. So all in all, what'd you think of the store? It was super busy. Oh my gosh, so many people there. Yeah, like it was very difficult to even try and film in there. and. Um, I felt a bit uncomfortable, so yeah. I know we didn't get near as much video as I would have liked to because I just felt weird constantly pulling out the camera and I'm thinking, what the heck are you doing, girl? <laughs> just get your groceries and get out of here. So the, the news reporter feels weird being on camera in front of people. I know. <laughs> Crazy, huh? So <laughs> now we are walking back to the boat and I'm going to put this camera away because I'm sure Colt would love me to carry this box because he is a 10 pound change, bag of chicken camera. on his back. I'll just switch you for the camera. All right, that sounds good. How are you doing back there? I'm good. I'm getting my second workout of the day in. There you go. Everybody, just, everybody says you lose weight when you live on a boat. What are you doing? I got a rock in your shoe? I got a rock in my shoe. Oh no. Anyways, everybody says you lose weight when you live on a boat, but walking six blocks, to get your groceries and then having to carry the box back sounds like a pretty good workout to me i'm here for it how you doing good you want to talk about walking back well we got a late start today so we had some other things we were working on and the walk there didn't really bother me and i wasn't scared coming back out it was just a little sketchy. So I told Cole I was watching my watch while we were in the store and I wanted to get out of there no later than sunset. So we're right around sunset. We're almost back to the boat now, but um, you know, just want to be cautious. There's no need to be walking at dark in a foreign place. Not How are you doing with that box? Hey, these guns are growing, baby. <laughs> Got to get that, got to get that muscle so I can pull the band back on my pull spear. Ten pounds of chicken breast. These down into some portion sizes that allow us. Um, for and when I, we're not going to eat a whole tray of sausage at any one time, so we will break this down into two two uh, portions and vacuum seal it. That way, it's nice and flat in the freezer. Freezer. We just got this vacuum sealer right before we left. While Cole is vacuum sealing the meat, I'm getting dinner ready. We did get some beef stew meat tonight, so 
I've cut that up, I've got that in, I've cut up my potatoes and gotten those cooked. So we're gonna have a vegetable beef stew tonight. We have a busy few days ahead as we finish provisioning. We also have several tours that we still wanna do around Nassau and give you guys a really great view of what it's like here in Nassau. So easy, quick meal for us tonight so we can eat on it the next couple days. There certainly is an art to provisioning and we are still very new in this process and really just learning as we go but we thought it was important to do this video because several of you have reached out to us and asked what's it like provisioning on, provisioning on the boat? What do you buy? How long does it last? How long do you provision for? So we're hoping with this haul that we did today plus the fish we're going to catch along the way will last us well over a month and actually one of our good friends Amy and Hilton they're the ones who told us hey break it up into separate days do your meat one day and then do your vegetables and canned goods and other things another day so this is our first time actually doing it this way and it's great because it takes that big overwhelming experience and breaks it down into something that's more realistic because when we provisioned leaving Florida for the Bahamas for the first time, we had so much stuff and it was just everywhere and then we ended up just kind of throwing things in different cabinets and cupboards and the floor and it was just really overwhelming. So this process has made it less overwhelming. We're now vacuum sealing everything and that's gonna be a long process and we're just getting started. Mm -hmm. 